Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to take a look at SCP-1142, A Cry for Help. This particular item is classified as safe, but don't let that fool you, it's got some pretty interesting properties. Let's dive in and see what this SCP is all about. SCP-1142 is to be contained in a standard non-humanoid holding cell at Site-12. An automated recording system is to monitor SCP-1142 at all times. Two Level 2 members of technical staff are to inspect any recordings made on a daily basis and, in case of a transmission having been picked up, are to provide this transmission to the current translation operative for conversion from its original German into English. A full report is then to be submitted to the current Level 4 project lead as per the protocols for interreality relations. The battery SCP-1142 carries is to be checked on the first of every month for signs of deterioration. SCP-1142's propulsion systems have been disabled to simplify containment. Irregular transmissions in German have been detected coming from SCP-1142, with an individual identifying himself as Brigadefuhrer, referred to as SCP-1142-1. Historical research confirms his existence, but records indicate his death during Allied military action at on 19 Analysis of these transmissions has revealed significant differences from our own timeline. SCP-1142-1 claims to be in Austria in the year 19 and the transmissions suggest that they are originating from an alternate reality iteration, designated DMAX-15487 A. There are also indications of a ZK-class reality failure scenario occurring or having occurred in DMAX-15487. Currently, communication with SCP-1142-1 is limited to receiving and recording their transmissions from DMAX-15487. Attempts to initiate contact or send a signal to this alternate reality have been unsuccessful. Following communication with the Foundation, further research into contacting SCP-1142-1 has been halted. SCP-1142, also known as A Cry for Help, was found in a barn on the outskirts of Furstenzell, Germany on an undisclosed date in 20. The German authorities, alerted by the owner, discovered SCP-1142 and recognized its potential danger. They brought in the Kampf Mittelraumdienst, KRD, to defuse it. However, a covert contact within the KRD alerted local Foundation agents when they found that SCP-1142 showed no signs of age and did not contain an explosive charge. A recovery team then managed to extract it from the German authorities and transported it to Site-12. The recovered SCP-1142 appears to be a radio transmitter, broadcasting a distress signal from Brigadefuhrer. The signal was broadcast from the observatory and indicated that there were only six individuals left. The broadcast pleaded for anyone who could hear the message to make contact and referenced a previous failed attempt at negotiation. The speaker, identified as an Ananerb Hopsturmfer, expressed regret and desperation, begging for help in the face of a dire situation. The message conveyed a sense of urgency and despair, imploring for assistance in a time of great need. 